Let us observe fecal emulsification of this intumescent cataract. The main incision is placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a steel keratom at around 135 degree axis. And now two side ports are made. One on the left side, the other one on the right side. The side ports are about three clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected and beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this white cataract. And just after applying the dye over the anterior capsule, the dye is washed out with PSS and a Simco cannula. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber. I do not use sodium hyaluronate in intumescent cataracts. The HPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now I take a 26 gauge band needle Inside the anterior capsule, there is a C flap, and watch some fluid has come out. Some oily fluid has come out, and this is this indicates high intralenticular pressure. To reduce the intralenticular pressure, some cortical lens matter is aspirated some anterior cortical lens matter is aspirated with the help of a Simcoe cannula and then the nucleus is rotated. And as the nucleus is rotated more cortical matter comes out. And as soon as this cortical lens matter comes out from the capsular bag, the intralenticular pressure decreases drastically. Visco is again injected to fill up the anterior chamber. And now this small rexis, this mini rexis, is enlarged to an optimum size rexis. A small cut at the margin of this mini rexis and with the help of a uterita forceps the rexis is enlarged to an op optimum sized rexis. This is a rexis of about 5 mm. And this is a moderately hard nucleus. I'm going to divide this nucleus with the help of my way. I call this submarine job. The tip goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and it is chopped. Then I rotate 180 degree, come to the other side, separate the two hemonuclei completely. Each hemonucleus is then chopped into two large fragments. The other hemonucleus is also chopped into two large fragments. And now each large fragment is further subdivided into smaller pieces and they are emulsified. 
Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 70 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The machine is Oatly Cataracts 3. No financial interest. And now observe one thing. The iris has is tending to prolapse through the sideboard. The iris has got incarcerated in the sideboard. Whenever this happens, we must try to remove the handpiece first like this, let the iris fall back and then remove the job. Otherwise, we can cause some injury to the iris. Some visco to protect the corneal endothelium and to maintain the depth of the anterior chamber. And now, cortical matter from the inferior aspect is removed by a Simco cannula, and by this time, the assistant is ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration cannulas. The sub incisional cortex is now aspirated by the irrigation aspiration cannulas. This is hydro polish. And after these, hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. The lens goes in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe. Whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge has come out by irrigation. And then this portion of the video is edited. The side ports are hydrated. Side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. The antichamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning Minirexis followed by optimum sized rexes.